Scratching you? Yes. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, witch. Come.
Pembroke Beach Hotel. Can I help you? Kindly hold for me. Air Jamaica announces the arrival of its DC-9 Super Lovebird service from New York. Passengers for the Mocha Beach Hotel, your bus is waiting outside the Air Jamaica Terminal. Mocha Beach Hotel, can I help you? Hi Sexy, this is Ringo. Wrong number. Hold on a little, what time to Miss B? There isn't a Miss B working here. Is that the Mocha Beach? Who do you wish to speak to? Who is that? This is Miss Brandon, front desk. Oh, Brandon, so you're a Miss B too. Cool. Listen up. Mm -hmm. I'm a waiter at the hotel, you see? Mm -hmm. And my wife, my missus, is going to come looking for me. When she comes, tell her that I've left the job and I'm not working in Port Antonio. Mm -hmm. Would you like to speak to someone in the kitchen? Uh huh. Put me on the door, please. The line to the kitchen is busy. Shit. Listen up. You have to cover for me. And tell Joe that I got held up, but I'm on my way. Tell him Ringo. And look, no? if my missus come, tell her that I left the job and I'm now working in Port Antonio. So what I'm to do, I must be? There's a call on the other line. I'll deliver your message. All right. Just tell him Ringo. And another thing. Hello? Hello? What the... 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 the... Sorry to keep you holding. Can I help you? Hi. Why is no one answering the telephone, Miss Brandon? They simply will not do. No one in the kitchen, everyone asleep. I have to wake up the taxi drivers myself and tell them to go and pick up the guests. Miss Brandon, you... Is this the first time you've ever operated a switchboard, Miss Brandon? There's no reason to look at me like that, Miss Brandon. You see, in business... Mocha Beach Hotel, can I help you? It's for you. Miss Brandon. How many times do I have to tell you? No calls through to me until you find out who it is on the other end of the phone. And right now, if God wants me, he can't have me. I'm out of town. It's your wife. Miss Brandon! I see. I'll take it over there, Miss Brandon. Coming home soon, darling? Busy. Tell me, darling. Is the gardener through yet? No, not yet. For God's sake, darling, make him get on with it. He knows exactly what to do. Just get him started, will you, darling? Okay, I'll try, darling. And listen, I won't be home until late tonight. Would you like to come to the hotel for a meal? Love to. Are you sure you won't mind eating alone? No, of course not, darling. All right, I'll send a cab for you later. Everything is just soulful, man. <laughs> yeah, what's that too? Well, you like it? You got to shave it off. Who says so? The new assistant manager. I call that guy. I'm up a white wife. Straighten up bitch, but him nervous. So long you don't miss in my scene? Cool. Joe, <laughs> it's nice to see you, boy. <laughs> boy. So tell me something. Why are you scratching so much? Boy, master, it's a long story, you know. I thought I had it bad. You should have seen the chick. <laughs> <laughs> and master, if anybody asks why I just coming back, I want to back me up. Food poisoning. Food poisoning? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and look, if my missus come looking for me, you haven't seen me, I gone to work in Port Antonio. Why, I want to open a new telephone operator, remember, to cover for me. One big fight me and the wife had last week. 
No man is too jealous and love money, man. Master, I have, I have to go check my cutlery. See you, Cool boy, cool. <laughs> I am just going to put my bus boy in charge. I wonder where he is. Bus boy! The one you didn't have last year don't come back here. That is good. What a boy, that fool, man. The one I'm assigned to you this year is not much better. Okay, let's have a look. What is that? The ship and the warpath are ready. Who is that? Your boss boy. Is him that? Don't boy. Don't <laughs> boy, you're the coat dancer. <laughs> And that it is going to be a real tourist attraction this season. Oh, the season going so far? A group coming in today from the States. Hey, remember that little blonde chick from Chicago? Yeah. We don't get a letter from her. She lied. We're not lying, she's coming back. When? She's not so but she's coming back. Back to the sun and the thing. <laughs> <laughs> you'd like to register over there and then a little drink? You know what them look like to me? I'm captain! No, what? Like a black jackass looking over a whitewash bed. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you enjoyed your trip. Oh, yes, thank you, sir. Welcome to Makabee. Oh, it's so beautiful. It is. Would you register over there and then perhaps a little drink? Okay. Thank you. How to do, madam? Welcome. Hope you enjoyed your flight. Uh, would you like to register over there and then perhaps a little drink? <laughs> Are you the manager of this hotel? Yes, Captain. Well, come, let me come, just tell you, I don't think on. much of your transport. But Ringo, look like the same man to me. Which man that? The man that had the heart attack around the dining table last year. You never hear about that. Yes, man. I was serving the table when all of a sudden he crashed down. And he tried to get up. He crashed down again, man. Head hit the soup bowl. Brother? Once the gongo peas fly. Him the dead? No, man. Oh. Him never dead. No, no, look, look at that. She just pushed right that one. She just pushed right in front of me. Right in front of me. And you're sitting here doing nothing about it. Not even one reasonable looking chick. True. Body picking slim. Slim, bud. Hey, look at La Fatu man there. Your type. <laughs> Shabazz. <laughs> <laughs> if one of them turkey looking chick ever hung on to you, never let you go in. I know from experience. <laughs> hey, one of them not did hang on to you last year? Gloria, the chick from Georgia. This money I was looking. I heard it was long. You must be mad. Then what to the time when you grab her up for the goodbye kiss? It was she who grabbed me up, grab her around my neck. Ring a baby, ring a doll, come to the sights of me. Take it easy. Jesus Christ, brother, about how she's lonely. Just she and her dog won't live up now. <laughs> the more I pull from the woman, the more she hang on to me, you know. I embarrass this man. <laughs> Boy, sometimes some things a man have to go through to raise a few dollars. Sometimes just shame of yourself. Bye. Can I give you a call when I get to my room? Where are 
at one foot man going. Him going broke the other foot over Dunsville Falls. <laughs> He's a white soul, brother. Bad boy! Stop roughing up the boy. Leave the man alone, man. Two of them is friend. It's just a party my play now. White people love the black people bow down, you see, man. Me touch ground. As long as I can find a dollar bill down there. White people must pay, man. Look how long they've been carrying us down. Exploit, they exploit a god love. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. I wonder who that black lady talking with the assistant manager. <laughs> she looked like your missus. <laughs> My missus, where? <laughs> Is your missus, yes? Yeah, I'll just make them jokes. I don't want you none from you, no, sir. I'm sorry, Ringo Simit, he come here from my husband. You know where, yes, sir, you know where I walk from. Master, you don't see me. I don't come to work. Tell, tell her I can't lick me down, right? Tell her anything. Tell her, yeah, tell her I'm dead. I'm gone. We gone. Master, I have to leave town. No, sir, I go around there already. And I'm... No, sir. What am I doing? Oh, wait, wait. This is where I'm with you, brother. No, man, I'm not. Hey, Ringo, come here. No, sir, but you listen to me, sir. Backside. She a cuss him. Mr. Yeah. No, sir. Me not left here. No, no, no man. Mr. Me can't go. Where you take this thing for? Hey, you could have taken more tablets, Mr. Me... Wait, what am I doing? No, sir. Assistant manager coming this way. I have to hide. Brothers come in this side. Hide in the pastry shop. And the chef is about. Come on the back. I can't run in front. The man coming. There's only a chance I have not about. Yes, I did it. I knew you come to bed this season. I tell you, it's put Antonio and gone. Get down. Who is Ringo? Good day, sir. Ringo Smith, who is he? One of the waiters, sir. Where is he? He's changing his clothes, sir. Find him. Yes, sir. I just remember, sir. He's in the dining room. Bring it, sir. Oh. Who threw it there? I do know, sir. Do it, banana, sir. Throwing banana peel on the floor when there's a perfectly good bin is damn rubbish. Yes, sir. I want to see the entire kitchen start first thing in the morning. Yes, sir. I could have broken my foot. You sprain it, sir. This sort of thing can't go on. We can't run a hotel like this. Every blasted thing out of place. And some strange woman up the front embarrassing the guest. Find Smith. A woman up the front asking for Ringo, no, sir? I've got to get them out of the lobby somehow. Nobody never tell you, sir. Tell me what? About the woman. What about her? She tell you, say she's Ringo, woman, no, sir? She says he's the baby's father. He's a mad woman, sir. Jesus Christ. Next week, she going to come asking for you. Mm -hmm. Say you owe her money. He's a mad woman, sir. Jesus Christ. And two men never come with her? Two men? Yes. They're mad, too. I don't know why they won't keep those people locked up. Every time they let them out. Out from where? Bellevue, sir. Security guard. Get me security. No, sir. I wouldn't do that if I were like you, sir. You know what we used to do? And the assistant manager before you? We used to give her two dollars and tell her that Ringo has gone to work in Port Antonio. Now she's a lady who walks everywhere she's going. So by the time she gets to Port Antonio and come back, the season will finish. And remember, sir, treat her gently. Bye. 
boss boy. <laughs> You're a boss. <laughs> hey, I, I say you're lying a bitch, you know. <laughs> Why is a good thing you're my friends? If you were to tell life, I wouldn't stand a chance. Woo! Rub it in. Hey, go back in. The man are come. to me. What's your name? Joe, sir. Now look here, Joe. That story you told me about that man Ringo is a damned lie. I'm not an idiot, you know. The next time you try to cover up for anybody, you're both going to find yourself out of a job. Who threw that banana peel there again? I don't know, sir. Make a trade with you, sir. I can do it myself. There's a garbage bin over there, you know. Do you know what it's there for? Garbage. Have I got to show you how to use it? It's very simple, you know. First of all, you take the cover off. A fool you. Hey, you must do things in a man. It's a, it's a serious joke and I feel mad. <laughs> <laughs> Come the man. Come on, man. <laughs> you know what that is? That's a cockroach. This place must be absolutely filthy. But don't just sit there, hit it, squash it, do something. Oh, Jesus, we're sat here where the animals come leaping out of the ceilings. The walls are paper thin. Oh, you're a big, fat help, you are. Oh, shit, get the tourist office and get us in the first plane out of this crummy place. You mean to tell me, Mia, you're really checking the one-foot white man? Foot missing? What else missing? Do you ever prefer to do without a man if I can't get one with everything intact? You are Carol. One-foot man better than no man. You no can find one with two foot. You know how long I've been trying to get to America permanently. <laughs> oh, yes. You can see yourself walking down Broadway with Long John Silver. <laughs> Once I get to America. Just drop him. Drop that. I'll call you later. Sorry to keep you holding. I hope it's only the foot missing. Ah, oh, monsieur. Bonsoir. Bonsoir. Oui, oui. <laughs> Hey, hey, Marty, thanks a lot for this soup. It's really good. You can have it. I think it's stinks. Oh, it's delicious. <laughs> what kind of a place you brought us to? <laughs> Madame, mon plaisir. Please come again. Thank you. Come and get down and unity. Come and get down and unity. Come and get down and unity. Because the top of the party. Come and get down and unity. 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 Because the top of the run is smarty. Tell me the tingling right in the note. Tell me the tingling right in the note. All they tell me, they tell me, Smarty say She no fi go a bread up in the yard Miss Smarty pass me order She 
Go on, brother, when you're black spider biting pan, him while your finger tinkle be singing. Black spider biting pan, him while your finger tinkle be singing. Wait a minute. Who is a black chick? The new social director. You going to serve her? No, sir. She going to starve to death then. <laughs> Who is a blonde? Don't know. Look interesting. Go and check it. Do that. <laughs> Enjoying your dinner, man. Thank you. You are looking very lovely tonight. Thank you. <laughs> Have you finished clearing up the messy meal outside yet? Yes, sir. What? Yes, sir. Relax, man. Oh, you look so frightened. The white people never eat, you know. No. I've been watching you. Listen good, because I don't talk more than once. Now the first thing. Fix up your clothes! No, if you're gonna work with me, you have to look better than this. You not only have to look better than this, but you have to smell better than this. You check it? Yes, sir. You ever hear of a thing called deodorant? No, sir. All right, give me a dollar. I don't have no money, sir. I'm going to buy it for you. You owe me a dollar. Now get me a plate, I'm gonna show you something. Sit down. Sit down. Now, imagine that you are the guest and I'm the waiter. And the first thing is when you put it in the plate, right? Now, you see where my hand is? Don't do it like that. If you do it like that, you see what happened? You don't see what happened. Nose gone on the harm. Be ho, that is what I'm talking about. Now you try that. Get up! Alright, straight up ahead. Let me see your face. Smile, man. Smile. Smile, master. Jesus Christ, it can't be a wait if you can't smile, man. Smile, up. What am to your nose? It's leaking, sir. Jesus Christ. Tell me something. What do you used to do before you come to the hotel? I used to be stopping sugar in the country, sir. What? Sapin's master, you're going to be in plenty of trouble if people can't hear what you're saying, you know. Straighten up yourself! <sighs> what am I really going to do with you? Report you to the manager? Tell them that you are no use? No, sir. No. I wouldn't do that. Because I like you. You're a nice boy. <laughs> Tell me something. You have the sisters? Five. <coughs> and six brothers, sir. <laughs> you know they're bigger than you? 
No, sir. Me the biggest one, sir. <clears throat> your mother and your father work? I don't have my father, you know, sir. So your mother expecting you to look after the children? Yes, sir. So depending on me, one. Now, if you use the head and you're smart, you can make plenty of money in your telling now. But you have to follow what me say. Now, me is what them call a man. A sea man. You know what that mean? <laughs> yes, sir. You're a sip, sir. No! I said sea. Sea! I mean sea as in rooster. You know that mean now? Yes, sir. <laughs> cool. <laughs> now, most of the girls that come to the hotel, they don't cook sunshine on the beach as they say now. You know what they come for? No, sir. You know what girls like most of all? <laughs> yes, sir. You have to give it to them. Tell me something. You're well blessed? Sometimes, sir. You have to get yourself together. And most important, you have to charge them. Not directly, but you have to make them pay. Tell him a hard luck story. Tell him your mother dead. Or your child is sick and is in the hospital. You have to work them over. They'll pay. But don't me go and do that, sir. Simple man, simple man. Sit down again, let me show you. Now, imagine that you are the guest and I am the waiter. I should be a teacher boy. Now, you have to use your brain. Before you check the chick, make sure that she's alone. Right? Good. Now, imagine that you are the guest and I am the waiter and you're having your soup. Where the soup is, sir? Imagine, man! Imagine the soup, like so. Good, that's better. So, I come in. Enjoy the soup, madam. Mm? Yes, master. Look, if you're a black man and you can't play a part, you're gonna starve to death. The first thing you have to learn to do is play a part, right? Now watch me do that. Enjoy the soup, madame. Yes, thank you. You're looking lovely tonight, madame. Uh, would you care to see some Jamaican night spots? You hear what I said? No. What is the sir? Forget it. But me never hear what you say, sir. You hawks. You should like to see some Jamaican night spots because she's lonely. If she say yes, you agree to meet her outside the gate. Let's down to the beach. I'm gonna lick out, sir. Right! Now, I am the guest. I'm gonna be a lady, and I want you to try and date me, right? Smile! Now try and do it. Dinner! Remember the armpit. Now try it again. Yes, thank you, sir. Enjoy the dinner, ma'am. Oh, it is very nice. <laughs> 
You want more food, not a plate, huh? What? Listen, I'm losing my patience and my temper, you know. Last chance here, sir, and remember the armpit. Now try it again. Dinner. Thank you very much, sir. Can I take it out? You skid. Mistake. You can't touch you, man. Suppose she don't like you. This is what you want to do. Get the two of us in trouble. You know what happened? Me finish. You're a failure. But, sir, beggar a chance, no, sir. A nervous, you know, sir. No, man. Take two weeks and watch me. Please, sir, one more chance, sir. Remember me, mother, sir. All right. But one more skid and it's out. Sit down. Sir. Here is your dinner, man. That is better, boy. That is much better, boss. Enjoying the dinner, man. Oh, it is very nice, sir. Very nice. You're looking handsome tonight, man. Can I take you out to see some Jamaican night pot? Boss boy, boss. <laughs> boy, I said to find you, I got to find a trail of dollar bills. No. Only thing to finish up now. You hear right talk around the back? Yes, sir. You know Jamaican? Yes, sir. Well, around the front is a different thing, you know. You have to check by them accent, right? Now we have English, Americans, and Canadians. Forget about English, they're too stingy. The Americans and the Canadians almost talk the same. So I want you to concentrate on the American and that will do for the Canadians, right? Yes, sir. No more that yet, sir. When the Americans are sat there, they say, Saturday, man. Saturday. Now let me hear you say that. Saturday. Saturday. Hmm? Saturday. Yeah. 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 You cotton picking son of a gun. You cotton picking son of a gun. Suck it to me, sweet nef. Talk it to me, sweet nef. Forget about the twang. Play it natural. Yeah. <laughs> All right? By tomorrow, I'll find a chick for you. And the blonde by the piano is mine. <laughs> and remember to smile. Hey you, where's your boss? I don't know, sir. Find him. Tell him that the woman that was sitting there, the blonde, is the assistant manager's wife. Paging Mrs. Danvers Brown, your husband is waiting in the lobby. Find him. Fast. Move!
a dollar with me, now. Too damn thief. You're a big man. You mustn't tell lies. You're too thief. We'll check you tomorrow about that job you're getting us. Remember. Remember. <laughs> Listen, man, I know it's not easy, what with my wife being foreign and that. Maybe you don't understand what she means, but you're going to have to put more effort into it. This job should have been finished from yesterday. Mrs. Danvers Brown is not satisfied. I try my hardest to satisfy her, sir. Well, it's not hard enough. Look, man, I know if I was here... Listen, you're just trying to take damn advantage of my wife. No, sir, but I'll try harder today to satisfy her, sir. And every day from now on, unless you lose the job. All right, sir. All right. All righty, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Mugger Beach Hotel. Yes, I go straight now. Beach right here. It's number four any good. You would Does anybody want to volunteer to be a jockey for the girl? Dollar number six. Seven volunteers. Susan, Susan. Okay, I got one. I got the winner. This is the winner. I want the winner. Come on. Take it easy, big fella. What are you doing? What's wrong with this goat? Not another thing wrong with this goat. Come back here. You want him dance? Do forget he's a one foot man. Forget me, forget. Me dear, him say me is the best thing that ever happened to him. You lie. What about the bed business? Come to show. You just shut me eye and do it. Don't forget the man have money and I want to go to America. My dear, I just hope you know what you're doing. And I'm not giving my pearl away for nothing. That is all I have. And it have to work for me. <laughs> Guess what? Flowers too, my dear. Chapter! <laughs> Report to the manager's office immediately. Ringo! 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 What up, man? Lend me ten dollars. I broke. Look what I did last night. My missus and our brothers. And I have to give her a ten dollars today. You really in a trouble? I promised to get our brothers some job, you know, and they soon come. Oh, you so careless, man. What? The woman you went out with last night, you know who she is? <laughs> Heavy stuff, master. Blonde here? Boss. <laughs> the assistant man, your wife. Not all right, man. Tell him, son, huh? This joke you're making. Look in my face if you see any joke. You lie. Oh, I'm fine out so fast. Ringo Smith, report to the manager's you office. You better move. Hey, go and look after the breakfast, man. Hell. Oh, Jesus. What a hotel. Hi, Miss B. Saw you last night. Good move. Look, I know you're new here. And maybe you didn't know it's against the regulations to go out with the guests. People get five feet already, but I'm cool. You can depend on me. Look now, you didn't see me by the club last night. You? It's club. That is cool. Confidentially now, the manager, what he wants to see me for? I don't know. If you find out, Give me a call. All right. Miss Brandon, I thought I asked you to get Ringo Smith over an hour ago for me. Juke. 
What happened? You see the man yet? I have more serious problems than that. The brothers come for the jobs. Any of them can swim? No. Swim? Why? The lifeguard walk out for the job. The pool attendant don't come back. If they could swim. But Joe, the dwarf can swim. True. <laughs> the tourists them can swim. Is one Jamaican man afraid for water? You can swim? No, what about you? He's like a fish. You lie. What you say? When I swim, fish clap. You can't <laughs> swim, Ringo. Watch it. Let <laughs> me say you can't swim. Let go. Let go. All right, Joe. I can't swim. Ringo Smith, report to the manager's office immediately. Look, if it's not anything too serious, I might be able to borrow $10 from the manager and get the brothers and the jobs. Ask me more. Ringo. Sly mongoose on the run. Smooth talking and neat. Skanking or treating, he's sweet. Ringo Smith is his name. And survival is his game. Hey, come here. You're going to see the man, is I know. Ringo Smith, sir. First thing, Smith, close the door. Yes. We only arrived back yesterday. Where were you? Oh, I'm sorry, sir, but I was sick, sir. Food poisoning, sir. Doctor's certificate? What, sir? Oh, um, um, will you see, sir? The last time I had this complaint, sir. The doctor put me on two weeks sick leave, sir. But seeing that the season was just about to start, sir, and I didn't want to miss it, sir, and I didn't really want to let you down, you know, sir. I mean, it's still tremendous, sir, but nevertheless, I try and come on, sir. I'm so sorry. I was a little bit late, sir. Cut the sir. What, sir? I had a report about you this morning. What I did, sir? Anybody doing that sort of thing is out. What I do, sir? What happened in the dining room last night? What, sir? Why you didn't serve Miss Thomas? Oh, Miss Thomas, who is she, sir? The social director. She said she was deliberately ignored for over an hour. Deliberately, sir? I mean, why would I do that, sir? I don't even know her, sir. What she look like, sir? Come on, man. One black face in the dining room, you can't miss her. But, sir, I did serve a lady, you know, sir. After one hour? I mean, I, I was busy trying to serve the tourists, sir. Don't give me that, Smith. The hotel is only a quarter full. It's my fault to come out when I know I wasn't feeling too well now. I mean, I, I try my best to look after the guests, you know. I mean, I'm really trying my... Look, I know what goes on in this hotel. So don't try and bullshit me. I know you waiters. You don't like to serve black people. I'm a black man, you know, sir. And there's no one to me like my black brothers and sisters, sir. I am very conscious, sir. Very conscious, sir. I mean, but at the same time, I don't different you, sir. I like white people, you know, sir. White man, black man, cool man, China man. I mean, we're all God's children, and we all have to live as one. But every time I want black man, let me down, you know, sir. I mean, what you say is true, you know, sir. I know most of the waiters, sir. They don't like to serve black people, sir. Why is this, Smith? What? Oh, wait, it's see, sir. Have a seat. Oh. Oh, I'm so sorry, sir. <laughs> well, sir, most of the black people come to the hotel, you know, sir. Treat waiters like dirt, you know. Call your boy and all that. I mean, sir, as a manager, I feel proud of you, you know, sir, because I see one of us, sir. I mean, but, sir, I mean, you've got to get to realize these facts, you know. A black man will come to the hotel, sir. You give the man excellent service, you know, sir. And when the man done, I mean, if I'm doing a poor junk, call your boy, I'm give you 10 cents. What, sir? Lighter, Smith. Oh, light, I'm so sorry. 
Yes, sir, as I was saying, sir. If they don't report you and call your boy, they give you 10 cents. I mean, sir. What 10 cents can do, sir? For I means bad enough when a white man call your boy and give you a dollar, you know, sir. But when you own black Smith. man, sir. Smith. Telephone, sir. Nobody knows I'm here. Hello, operator. Yes, ask him to come and see me. Oh. Okay, Smith, I'll forget about it this time. Just make sure it doesn't happen again. Oh, thank you very much, sir. <laughs> okay. Um, sir, I wonder if I could ask you a little favor, sir. Not now, Smith. There's somebody coming to see me. Um, it won't take a second, you know, sir. What is it, Smith? Well, I heard that there's going to be a vacancy at the pool for a lifeguard. I know somebody with plenty of experience in that line, you know, sir. <laughs> Ask him to come and see me. Okay, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Now what is it, Smith? I, I know somebody else <laughs> that, that could work as a pool attendant, too, sir. Ask him to come and see me, too. Okay, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Oh. <laughs> Sir, I wonder if I could borrow ten dollars from you, sir. I don't lend money, Smith. Sorry, you see, I'd like to fill this prescription because, you know, I, for the food poisoning, you know, I really don't want to miss the hotel work another time. Okay. Let me have it back, Smith. I'm back. Oh, yes, have it back. Good, yes. Thank you very much. sir. If you have the fish, you can have the steak. There's a choice. Mm, look, Mac, we're on a package tour, right? Everything inclusive, right? So bring everything, right? You mean... That's right, fella, bring it out. Everything. Jesus. You gotta stand up for your rights. Before. Yes, sir. And she's ready for the steak. Yes, sir. You know what to do? No, sir. Yes, sir. No, sir. Y yeah. Relax, man. Enjoy the soup, ma'am. Yes, very much. Is it a native recipe? Me no, no ma'am. You're looking... You're looking... You're looking handsome tonight, ma'am. Well, thank you. You're very charming. Yes, ma'am. But you're looking lonely tonight, ma'am. Well, would you care to join me? Yes, ma'am. 
it's not allowed, ma'am. But they can meet you after, ma'am. By the car park, ma'am. And we can go down to the club, ma'am. Well, I'd like that. This is how I always dreamed it would be. Uh. But honey, why did you have to eat so much? Uh. Uh. <laughs> oh, I've got a little something for you. Have you uh, given any thought to going back to the States with me? Not really. I've got something else for you to try on. Boy, it's really beautiful out here. And you're very cute. And sexy, too. Feeling any better? Oh, God. I feel terrible. Try that ping pong thing again in a little different way. Take it easy. Just relax. <laughs> That's better. Take it easy. Just relax. What, Miss Gladys? Uh. Don't stop. Don't stop. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah. Miss Gladys. Push a little lower. Oh, 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 God. Uh, oh, good. Don't stop, book, Mom. Uh, that's right. Come on in, honey. It's fabulous. Please, Miss Gladys, I can't swim. They look good, though. Relax. They're just not playing the part right, you know. Anyway... I get the job to them and that is that them have all recommendations to show that we cross that barrier, see that? Things happening fast. What happened? It looked like a diamond. To rot it. We meet in later to make the final arrangements. You lie. I resign in today. Listen, I'll call you later. It's a deal. <laughs>
Tonight, the Mucka Beach Hotel proudly presents Crab Racing in the Hotel Bar. Don't miss this exciting event. Don't forget, it's Crab Racing tonight at 9 p.m. And bring your money, it's gonna be fun time. So, you don't want a piece of the action then? No, sir. <laughs> Leave me bloody, I can't twirl. <laughs> <laughs> what Mr. Gladys are talking about? <laughs> oh, you get on with the chick last night? Not bad. Uh, you get money? Not yet, far. This thing don't go on credit, you know. It's cash and delivery. Now, tonight, you're gonna ask her to go to the crab race. And she must bet on the red crab and the orange crab. You're not betting? <laughs> <laughs> well, I must win at least three or four hundred dollars tonight. <laughs> Bet this. What if them catch you? Cat's Ringo, <laughs> the red crab and the orange crab. 25 big smackers on blue and green, right there. <laughs> Thank you. Hi. Okay, now let's start the race. I'd like to get a volunteer, if I can, to be a starter. I have a volunteer. Come on up this way, sir. Come around. Come around here. All right. Look, tell us about yourself. Where yeah. are you from? Detroit. Detroit! Yeah. How about yeah, that? Give him a hand. Come on. Is there anybody else here from Detroit? Well, that pretty lady sitting right over there is oh. Mrs. Riley. She, we just got married. Oh, wonderful. How's the honeymoon going? Well, this place is a lot nicer than Detroit. <laughs> wonderful. Now, I want you to... We are going to start the race right away. Okay. Just... I just want you to be the starter, right? Okay. And you pick the thing up off the crabs, mm. and then we're off. What kind of crabs are they? Oh, they're soldier crabs. Oh, yeah, I was in the service myself. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> All right, oh. now let's start. Lift up the top, and we're off! And we're off. And we're off. And it's the orange one, I yeah. think. Come on, Greedy, you're gonna do it. Greedy, you're gonna do it. Come on, come on! You get this one, baby. I'm gonna give you my kiss on the back of your shell. Wonderful. Okay. Could you go and seal your bets with Bunga Man over there? Isn't that wonderful, sir? No, Next she time. Told me blue. Hey, man. <laughs> Here I'm one. <laughs> give him, give him one. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Dad. Oh, it's okay. I gave you three. Right. I was hanging out on orange, right? Yeah. And orange again. You know what? The winner. Huh? Blue and green going to be the winner. Fun time. Time for the final race. But there is a catch. For this race, the last crab over the line 
is the winner. Remember, this is the loser's race. Well, they say if you can't beat them, join them. 125 in the orange. Would be it's my first three dollars. Baby, come on, come on, come on. It could eat me. <laughs> Cash, please. Cash. This is a loser's race. The last one wins. God damn it. I just put, I just put all my money on this race, you know. I'm sorry, sir. Honest to God, man, everything crash. I'm really sorry. Boy, I just can't understand now. I mean, your ten dollar gone, my ten dollar gone. Somebody double crossing us, man. I mean, we can't be so bad luck, it, man. We can't. You want to see money? Money like dirt. Fifty. I have hundreds there. No, just... Ten more, if that a talk. Talk about what? You know. Cool.
that lose all the money in the crab rates last night. This thing is going to have serious repercussions. If it wasn't for you, what happened wouldn't happen. You should never have got those boys the job. It's you suggested to me. Look, you involved me one Ross. You in it. So don't try and back out now. I have my children. You going to take care of them when I lose the job? Eh? Take it back. I don't want it. That is why black people never get nowhere. We don't stick together. We'll try and make a little get out, but as something goes wrong, we start to eat up each other. If I ever see where I'm going to lose this job, you see? <laughs> All of us lose it if we never stop. No, you know. As I see it. Is only the three of us know the full facts of what happened. If any of us talk, all of us may lose out. No. Everybody see when I jump in. A sleepy sleep man. Don't matter that. I jump in. I risk my life to save the tourists. You never hear the people them congratulating me. Oh, my brave. It's only you two know that I can't swim enough. So all I have to do is spread it around the hotel 
that Ringo risk his life to save the tourists by this evening. Radio, tomorrow morning, newspaper, Ringo is hero. Then after that is promotion. In sweet boy, when I get promotion, I promote you to, you know. You, you don't want to become a waiter? Uh, yes, sir. It's all like sense, Joe. assistant manager is him give the boys the jobs you know when you get right down to it everybody's protecting is one thing you know if it's not money is power <laughs> young boy when anybody asks you what happened what you're going to tell them that you risk your life with the people them sir <laughs> Seen. <laughs> Seen, young boy. Teen. Teen. <laughs> <laughs> Mocha Beach Hotel. Me a girl. I just see your man. Airport. Where you see him? Airport? I'll call you back. Chapter. Hello, Kiffin. Hello, Kissing. Is Ringo there? No, ma'am. Who is that? This is Cyril the boss boy. Come up to the front desk. I want you to do me a favor, quick. Yes, ma'am. Hello. Is that here, Jamaica? Could you tell me if you have a Mr. Gerald O'Brien booked on the flight to New York this afternoon? I'll hold. Yes, ma'am. Look, do me a favor. Go to room 37. You actually saw what happened down by the pool? Yes, sir. What? Mr. Ringo risk him life to save the people, them, sir. See, I must find him. Excuse me. Do me a favor. Go up to room 37 and see if you see any suitcases or anything. 37, ma'am. 37. Quickly. Hello? Smith, can I speak to you a second, please? Oh, just a minute, sir. I uh, heard what happened down by the pool. Very pleased, Smith. In fact, the whole staff is. It was a good job. I'm proud of you. Really proud. Listen, I uh, have a little something here for you. You deserve it, but you must spend it wisely. Oh, yes. Thank you, Robert. Oh. Forget what you owe me. Nothing not here, no, ma'am. No suitcase or anything. Thank you. Can I do anything else for you, ma'am? No, thank you. Cigar. <laughs> but 
can I do it orange, sir? So why you don't eat orange? <laughs> Them fed rock not your balls in what, sir? <laughs> And you believe it? Yes, sir. Who start them rumors? The people who grow the orange. Wicked. Eat the orange, man. But they don't want the orange, sir. Come to me. Let's come on. But eat, eat the orange. Man. Man. Orange, sir. Orange, sir. Peel a red one for me, sir. Come on here, man. What's the matter, Miss Brandon? What's the matter? Eat orange, boy! 